Welcome to my channel. This is my fifth requested reaction for the day, and this is another new singer to me, new to me, maybe not to you. The name of the singer is Dave Bray, and the name of the song is Freedom Rings, and then in parentheses it says Blood of Heroes. Sounds like a patriotic song. So, when I look at the YouTube video, it says Day Bray USA, Freedom Rings, Blood of Heroes. So, kind of suspect I know what this is, but we'll find out. I didn't get any notes from the requester, so that's all I know about it. I want to thank you for supporting me. Thank you for your wonderful requests. And thank you for just being great people. And also remind you that I put the artist links in the description of my videos so that you can support them if you want to. So this is Day Bray singing Freedom Rings. <laughs> Coffins are lit to widow's lamp for every daughter and every son. The price was paid for everyone, so remember him, cherish his name as your freedom.
did you know that Amazon has a 50 When I hear songs like this, I think of all the men and women who have died in all the wars that have been fought. Some of them not even necessary. But they went and they fought and they died. And no matter what you think of your country, or your country's participation in any particular war. We should always be thankful for those who served and gave their lives because they, they fought and they died. And they gave their lives so that you could continue living. And I think about my cousin, Donald, who died in Vietnam. And I can tell you from personal experience of having met the men that fought with him that the pain of his loss still reverberates in them. I held one man in my arms while he cried as he talked about Donald. That pain apparently never goes away. No matter what you think of your government or the decisions that were made to go to war, no matter whether the war was a quote, quote, good war or a quote, quote, bad war, we should honor the people that served and gave their lives. And we should work hard to never fight another war. I know that sometimes seems impossible, but we still should try. And I pray to God that somehow, some way, we can have peace in this world of ours that people can learn to live and understand each other and accept each other for who they are and not constantly try to settle issues between countries by going to war. I know it seems ridiculous. There's been very few years in the history of the world where we haven't had a war going on somewhere. But wouldn't it be wonderful if we could put a stop to that? And that day is coming because when Christ returns, after all the stuff that goes on to clean out the bad parts, there will be peace on earth. And I look forward to that with great anticipation. This is the Vietnam Air Vet out.